Good morning and many blessings here from Reiku and welcome to my Sunday Detox. Ladies and gentlemen, I have proud to present to you the very first podcast for the month of March. We are going to be talking about the subject of energy, 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 energy. Now we are already aware what energy is. Basically, if you're looking on a physics level, it is the quantum property that could transfer an object in order to perform, to heat, to basically make an object move. Basically, it's the law of conversion, energy states that can be converted into any kind of form in order to make something move. But what we are going to go ahead and get down to is the nitty gritty of protecting energy and what energy means for you. Now, energy, of course, you know, you can go down the, st the scientific form of it, but energy is a lot of things. Energy can be the strength and what you need to keep moving, the to sustain a physical and mental activity in your daily life. Basically, energy can be converted into different things. What you eat can be converted into energy. What you feel, what you move, how you move, it conducts different forms of energy. The vibes you give off, your your emotions is energy, your thoughts is energy. Um, power, basically, what you do in your life, everything you do, everything that involves you as a human being is a form of energy. When I always sit here and tell people is about protecting your energy, I don't mean it on just the level of, you know, just protecting what little energy you have when it comes to work. I'm talking about the energy that makes you work, what makes you tick, your physical being, the energy that you have that gives you the strength to get up every day. Protect that. The energy that you use to have those emotions that you have. Protect that. When I tell you to cleanse your energy, that's also your spirit, your soul, because energy is everything around you, what you breathe, what you feel, being an empath, we constantly feeling energy positive and negative. When you get that gut feeling, that's negative energy pressing against you. When you get good feelings, that's good energy pulling against you. Those thoughts that you're having, it's energy. A lot of people don't realize that because thoughts is a form of energy that it can't be destroyed. Energy can't be destroyed. It could just be transferred. So a lot of people don't look at what energy is and how it works. When you are boiling down to what is energy and what does it mean to you, take a moment, sit down, think about it. What is your energy for you? How does that make you feel when you think about everything you do, your thoughts, your energy, your emotions? Is energy. Think about it. Everything you do, every waking moment, even when you're sleeping, you're taking in energy and you're putting out energy. A lot of people don't look or think too deeply into the subject at hand. A lot of people just look at it on the scientific term of, oh, energy is what makes our lights go. Energy is what makes our car moves. But what about you? How do you move? Your whole body is a whole electronic system. Your brain being the foundation, the core, even those nerve endings. How do you think your brain sends the, the, the process to let you know when something hurts or when something's hot? That's a form of electricity. It's energy. Energy is a form of electricity. Your whole body conducts energy. Your body is your temple. And even then, when you connect with other people, you're taking on their energy. When you're around people, you're taking in their energy. And you're giving them a little of your energy. When you get tired of being around certain people, they drain your energy. Energy is something that roams around all of us. When I sit here and I talk about it, you are your own universe. You are your own form and source of energy. How are you using it? How are you protecting it? What are you doing to make it better? How are you 
recharging your energy after a long day? Are you practicing good health? Are you staying hydrated? Are you sleeping? Are you protecting and saying no when you need to say no when you're getting overworked? Because you need to do everything you can because you have unlimited energy until you don't have any. You have to continue to replenish your energy. What happens when you stop putting gas in your car? Your car stops running. What do you do if you unplug your game system? It doesn't have a form of energy to conduct, to keep it moving. Same with your body. Same with everything in life. Your thoughts. Energy is all around you. Now, you may be sitting here thinking, like, how is my, my thoughts energy? Believe me, we're going to touch up on that subject later on in the month. But just think about it. What are you doing to preserve your energy? Are you putting it in little blank, like blank spots in your, your mind to use for later? Are you conserving it properly? Are you using your energy on things that are worth using your energy for? When I sit here and I tell a lot of my coworkers and a lot of people that I met, when they get upset and they get angry, they be like, why don't you get mad? I'm like, because they're not worth my energy. When you sit here and you give your energy to somebody who makes you mad or sad or upset, you're giving them power. If you think of it that way, would you really be wasting your energy on things that are meaningless? Would you really get mad every time somebody says something wrong to you? Would you get out of character? There's a difference between respect and getting respect and knowing what the difference is of, is this worth my energy? Because at the end of the day, nothing is at the cost of your energy or your freedom for that matter. Because you having power over your energy and what you do with it is the best freedom you could ever have. How are you preserving it? What is energy to you? I really, really, really want some people to come and give me some feedback later in the week. You guys can, you know, get on my Twitter. You can get on my IG. You can even come to my Facebook and let me know, like, hey, you know, this subject about energy. I've thought about this. It's great. I didn't think of it that way. I didn't know my thoughts were energy. I didn't know my, my emotions were energy. All that stuff is energy. After a good cry session, you, some people feel like their weight has been left off their shoulder. It's because you're letting go of that bad energy. Or in some cases, you feel more drained when you're crying about it, whatever the subject may be. That's because you allowed yourself to be drained. You allowed your energy to be drained for whatever you were crying over. When you get mad, some people get real tired. Was it worth you losing that energy for? Was that person worth losing your power over? Because you gave it back to them. Because you fed into that anger. That jealousy. That's energy you wasting. Balance yourself. Balance your battery. Know the difference between right and wrong. And know that at the end of the day, energy is important. Did you see here... And get enough people to look at you when you put on makeup and put on that nice fancy outfit. You put in energy into that. But did enough people give you enough recognition? Because some people be looking for that energy from other people. Getting those feedbacks, those comments. Dang girl, you look good. Some people feed off of that type of energy. That attention. Because attention is also energy as well. People can die if they don't get enough energy. If they don't get enough nourishment. We are just like plants. We have a source we need to find. We need attention. We need love. We need food. We need water. We need energy. Energy is all around us. And everything we do. Everything we consume. Everything. It's not just black and white and scientific. As energy is what makes our car moves. No, energy makes what make you move. Don't get me wrong, if anybody see me on IG and stuff like that, and I post up talking about, man, I miss having sex, I miss this, I miss that, but it's not at the cost of my energy. Because sometimes 
mixing energy with the wrong people is also just as bad as trying to get energy. Because sometimes some people will be so desperate for energy that they mix with the wrong energy. It's like you sitting here touching a, a, a bad battery that is corroded and, you know, literally leaking out fluids. You gotta know what is worth your energy. Because every little thing you do can take away a little bit more of your battery. Every health problem you have between cancer and sickness, it takes your battery when it's already maxed and lowers it. And already with time and growth, our battery already gets smaller and smaller. Don't help it by hindering your body. Now, I'm never going to tell anybody, you know, you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't drink. No, just know what your limitations are. Too much of a good thing is also a bad thing. So even then, eating healthy and working out can also shorten out your battery. Because you need to make sure you replenish your energy. Is the people around you helping build your energy or are they taking away from you? Because even then, some of those people that you think are your friends, they're actually draining you. Taking too much away. Energy is a sacred thing as humans that we need. As beings that are spiritually aware. And even then, for those who are Christians and those who believe in a higher power, you're using your energy to praise those people. Are you using your energy on the right things? Are you giving your energy to the right people? To the right beliefs? To the right morales? Are you happy? Are you finding yourself more drained? Because I can tell you if your energy that you're using is going to the right places or the wrong places. Like I've been telling you guys in previous episodes that your body knows what's going on with you before you even know. Practice protecting your energy. Meditate. Guide yourself. Make sure you're recharging on a daily basis because at the end of the day there's only you yeah you may have a partner you may have kids you may have parents you have siblings but are those people really there building you and helping your energy and preserving your energy or are they draining are you draining your energy because sometimes we are the most self sabotaging people in the world as humans, that's what we do. You have to know that you are the power source for your life and what you bring in. Because guess what? Positive energy does indeed bring in positive energy as well as negative. And negative energy does the exact same. It brings more negative than positive. But if you are all around glowing beacon of hope, you're going to actually get a lot of people who are negative energy wanting to drain and sap your energy away. So always know who's really in your corner to help build you and what you are worth and who, what, what you're trying to accomplish in your life. Energy is a very sacred thing. Energy is a very sacred source. It is so limited to find good energy. So you just got to know the difference. Your body will tell you if the energy you're receiving is good or bad. Those deja vu moments, those gut feelings. Listen, your body knows. Every time you around somebody, you feel sick or frustrated or jealous or angry. That just means that that person is giving you bad energy. And you don't need to be around that. Know what's good and healthy for you. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, you only got one chance, one shot. And then at some point in time, when it's done, said and done, your energy will be go to somewhere else. It can't be destroyed. Your physical being can be destroyed, yes. But your energy can't. What you create in this world, that magnetic field that you create, can't be destroyed. Do you want it to be remembered for being good? Or do you want it to be remembered for being bad? 
You want to leave a sour taste in someone's mouth? Or do you want to end up bringing somebody sunshine? You got to know what your energy is worth and protect it at all costs. That means stay hydrated, get sleep, make sure you're practicing the proper health for mental, physical, emotional health. Seek medical affection if you need to. Grab some crystals, burn some sage, do some incense. How do I protect my energy? I rest. I reset. I keep eating when I need to eat within limitation. I take baths because self-care is the best care and self-love is the best love because my energy is sacred. And I don't think everybody deserves my energy. Not everybody deserves to be around a soul like mine. I've gone through hell and back, and yet I am still the most giving and loving person in the world. I'm willing to share my energy if they, people need the energy. I'm willing to be there if you need me to be, within limitations. If I'm feeling too drained, I take time. I heal. And my friends who know me know I may go two or three days and be off the grid just to reset and recharge my battery to 100%. I bathe, I sit in the tub, run me some hot water with some bubbles once a week, shower every day, brush my teeth every day, I rest, I gain, I have social interactions within limitations without it draining, knowing the difference between the people who are there to help me and those who are trying to hinder me. I listen to what my body is telling me, what my gut and my intuition is telling me. Because guess what? My body and my spirit knows a bad energy when it comes. If you are a very wise and intuitive soul, your body will always tell you right from wrong. Energy can be projected even when words are not expressed. So listen. What you should do going forward is what is this feeling telling me? What is this energy, this wave telling me? Is it good? Is it bad? How is it helping my energy? How is it helping me? Is it draining me? Or is it helping recharge me? What does energy mean to you? And as we go through the entire month, I really want to hear from you guys. How do you guys preserve your energy? We're going to talk about how you can convert your thoughts and how your thoughts are energy later on in the month. We're going to talk about different ways of protecting your energy and listening to your energy and recharging your energy. Now guys, remember, you guys can go ahead and reach out to me at my Twitter handle and that's B underscore R-E-I-K-O. And that, again, is my Twitter handle. And my IG is lady underscore R-E-I-K-O. And you guys can reach out to me there. Or model R-E-I-K-O Blackheart on Facebook. And talk to me about energy. How are you guys feeling about it? You liking it? You loving it? Because guess what? If you like it, that's good energy. If you hating it, that's some bad energy. Reevaluate it. Think about it. How are you protecting your energy today? Again, as I always tell you, protect your energy. Make sure that you continue smiling. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will talk to you next Sunday. Again, this is Ray Kuhn, and this is my Sunday Detox. Have a wonderful day.